there's a principle of law that with every benefit there's a burden and the responsibility that you have with a, with a dog it's not just an in inanimate object uh, uh, in our life today, we do focus a lot of our attention on material things, such as automobiles, clothes, uh, trips, and things of that sort, and even objects, paintings, and, uh, and uh, other kinds of things at home that you, you cherish. Well, an animal, I think, uh, much more so you cherish because he does respond to you. He doesn't, he doesn't talk like a human being, but he's much more so than just an inanimate object. And I think that, therefore, a responsibility that a person has with an animal, uh, you sense that when you have them because their love and affection comes to you. And that love and affection, over a period of years, becomes a part of your life, and you just can't discard them uh, to such a degree like you can a, uh, a wrapper around some food or something and say, well, it's finished and it disappeared. Now, of course, it is a very... Uh, when, a, when a dog dies suddenly, like Trooper died, the moment of decision came. What do we do with them? And I could often think of, the, of, of Trooper's face, and i say, where are you going to put me? There's something to life that... Even when you discard something of an inanimate nature, you dispose of it with some kind of a reverence. I got a stereo system aside from a recording system. It's a, uh, it's a Pioneer SX-1010, and it's 100 watts per channel, which is very powerful. And on some occasions, say late afternoon when there's nobody up here at the park, I'll take my speakers and I'll put them outside and uh, turn, it, turn it up, and it... You can hear it. It goes through the whole valley, and uh, you can hear it from, you know, miles away. together again. I think we're going to live pretty much just like we do here. And I want to be able to find my pets. I don't want them dug up and scattered all over creation. I want them right where I know where they are. Where it's like in the hunting fields like they've had in this life. And I believe that we'll all be reunited. I really do. I believe that from the bottom of my heart. She got me just believing just, that now. I never believed in it. but uh... Before, but I still do. Because so. after all, there's your dog. Your dog's dead. But where's the thing that made it move? It had to be something, didn't it? There's your spirit. There it is. I might be dead, but I'm not moving. And you can't put that back in them. But I can take the body where it'll be with it and lay it to rest for a beautiful thing. And it can rest there or be right around there. It'll stay close. It'll stay where it is, and I'll find it again. I really will. <laughs> They'll be with us. Well, I hope she's right. Uh -huh. I think I'm right. In fact, I almost know I'm right. <laughs> bet on it, huh? Yeah, I'd bet a lot on it. <laughs> My assurance to the pet owner that that they will be reunited with their pet at some time in the future, maybe under different circumstances and in a different form, as remote as this might be, and as hard for them to visualize, it still gives them a degree of hope. 